welcome to another episode of Stupid Guitar Tricks. I'm JR. Let's get started. This week we're going to look at a song called Love Alive by Heart. So the song's essentially made up of building blocks. There's the intro, which leads us into the verse. The verse will stay the same throughout the song. There's the pre-chorus chorus, and then there's the bridge, and then the outro, the ending. So with that in mind, let's take a look at the component parts. Hart's intro on the original recording starts off with a harmonic and the little uh, run bait up based off some pull-offs. Recently I fell in love with the A minor ad 9 and I thought what a great way to start this song off. So this isn't going to be exactly the same as Hart's. This is my arrangement. Uh, you can learn to play it just like I do. And everybody will be just as amazed at you as they are at me. Okay, it's not a very big crowd of amazed people, but you get the picture. So we're going to start the song off with the A minor add 9 chord. It sounds like a hard chord, but it's really easy. You can look at the tablature notation for it right here and see that it's a pretty simple chord. So that's what it sounds like. It's that James Bond chord. These are the beginning of the James Bond songs. Then we come to the intro, which is the little skipping, melodic, rhythmic figure that they do in the song, and it features throughout the song. I think it's really what drives the song. So we're going to start off with the A and the D string. Hammer on. We'll hammer on here, too. And here's where it gets really tricky. We're going to play two guitar parts, but we're going to do it real easy. We're going to use chords. So we're going to play this chord, which is an A sus2. Slide it up. Slide it up. Now our hammer-ons here are not going to be up here. You, you could go up here and get your hammer-on right here, but it doesn't really make sense to do that. It really makes sense to go underneath it. And you can get away with that on the first two chords. The third chord, however, you got a hammer on above it. So that's it. It's really pretty easy. It's just that A sus2, slide it up to the fifth fret and up to the seventh fret, and then the fifth fret, fourth fret, quick hammer on back to the fifth fret. Easy cheesy. It sounds really good, so if you do it right, it should sound like... So did you hear how that sounded kind of like two guitars playing there? That's sort of the idea to make it sound like there's more going on than there really is. The next part would be the chorus, the pre-chorus and the chorus. So it's three quick pull-offs, a G, an F sharp over D, and then back to that A sus2. Repeat it. on the ASS2. So with any kind of speed, it would sound like... The neat thing about that is when you're playing that ASS2, you've got... You're, you're in the right position. you got the ASS2 right here. And you've got the... You just walk it right down and you're right over the G. Put your thumb up there and then just play a D chord underneath it. And then back to that A sus2. There you go. Now we go back to the verse and we sing another verse about how love has eluded us yet again. The most exciting part of the song is the bridge. We come to the bridge after the second chorus. And it's the walk after the walk down. going to do then is we're going to grab an F chord and I know a lot of people don't like playing this but it's one of the most useful open chords you're going to learn so just take the time and, and learn it. Uh, the hardest part is this index finger. You can get it. All of us that play guitar have had to do it. I know people complain about it but it's not that bad. We're going to play an open F just like this. We're going to play a G which is just that F slid up two frets. 
then we're going to play this open C. And then a D sus 2, which means it's a D, but you see we're not playing the... We're not going to play the F sharp, we're just going to play the other part of the D. So it's a F, slide it up two frets, a C, and that little D2. So, at speed it should sound like this. Anyway, you get the idea. Now the real magic comes is after we hit that uh, progression, we open, leave it hang out on that A that A2. We're gonna hit play that chord. We're gonna play that F that we played earlier. Remember we were just playing the F, but it was up here, so it was a G. So we're gonna play the A2, that F shape up on the third fret. We're gonna slide everything down one fret and basically just change the position of your index and your middle finger, make them switch strings, and you're in the right position to play this inverted D. And then it's uh, back to uh, the A sus2. And there's a little walk down with a C, G. Now you can play it that way the first couple times, but towards the end we're gonna we're going to pick it out. So the chords are going to be the A sus2, the F shape on the third fret which is really a G, that upside down D, it's an inverted D, back the A sus2, and then a C and a G. So here's what it sounds like. I'm going to come out of the first part of the bridge into the second part of the bridge and you hear the magic of that A2 hanging out there open. That's where the magic, I think, really happens in this song. So when you've got that part, how do you end the song? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to walk back down through the chords we've used and end up back at the A minor add 9. So the way I like to do it is when you get back to the point where you can come out onto the C, G, we're going to walk it down to that A sus 2. And then here we'll play a D2. And when you've done that enough and you feel like it's time to move on, grab a G. You do that little walk up and then just play your A minor right again. There you go. That is, my friends, how you play my version of Love Alive by heart. Not trying to reinvent Hart's version of their song. I just wanted something I could play on the acoustic for my uh, amusement. Maybe it amuses my cat a little bit. I don't know. She's kind of tight-lipped about that. But that's the reason I came up with that arrangement. Anyway, we're not trying to change the world here at Stupid Guitar Tricks. Just how you think about guitar. We'll see you on stage, man. Peace.